which of the following would the author agree with? Option A says, like humans, animals too are aware of their self. This is not true. We see this from the last few lines of the fourth paragraph. Perhaps animal gets, animals get so far along this sequence of development of self-awareness and stop before it is completed. The stopping point depending on the species. Humans, while humans are self-aware, animals are not completely self-aware. They only have partial self-awareness. The development of self-awareness, the sequence of development of self-awareness, it starts in their developing years, but it stops at a certain point. So this is not true. Thus, the author is not likely to agree with this. A can be eliminated. Option B says, humans exhibit, uh, exhibit progressive self-awareness. This is true. We can see it here, the same paragraph, the fourth paragraph. Self-awareness in humans develops sequentially also, at least in its early stages. So the author would most likely agree with this. B can be qualified. Option C tells us, the sensory systems of humans and animals develop in different ways. This is incorrect. We can see this from, again, the fourth paragraph. One of the principles of development of the sensory system, sight, hearing, touch, taste, and smell, is that they come into function sequentially. For example, the ability to respond to sensory stimulation begins with touch and taste, and then progresses to hearing, and then finally vision. This pattern is conserved across almost all vertebrate species, and it has been much studied. So humans and vertebrate species, as in vertebrate animals, they develop their sensory system or their sensory systems develop in the same way. They don't develop any differently. So C can be eliminated. Option D says, the first cry of a baby is an expression of pain. This is not necessarily true. We see this from the first paragraph. We see it here. Indeed, the baby's first expression of feeling is to cry, perhaps to excessive pain. So whether it is an expression of pain is not definitively stated in the passage. The passage does say perhaps to excessive, to express pain. So D is eliminated. The correct answer is option B.